Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Uh, uh, so <laughs> and I hate like to say that, but no, no, no. Let me let me finish because I want to talk to no, OG but person. It's true. We all got we all got homeboys you. got murder cases. All of my homeboys got twenty five. Yeah, all right, all but, of us, but not one or two of them. Everybody, everybody. Hold on, man. When, when you around them, when when I look at uh, OG Percy and I like I said, I looked at that documentary and all the people that that's in those boxes that you were talking about, different people who died for different causes and things that pretty much uh, mm -hmm. caused you to be there making these speeches, man. Um, does that have an effect on you in the way you live your life. I put it like that. The only way, the only thing that has effect on me, the way I live my life. Shout out to Tookie, man. Okay, that's 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 the effect on how I live my life in Cribbin. When I found out what it was really about, when I found out what it was really about, the Black Redemption part, mm -hmm. the Blue Rage, you, you can have that. I went through that. I didn't been through the Blue Rage. When I found out I am part of that book, as far as my life story goes. And, and to get to the end of the book and find out it is a pot of gold at the rainbow, all you got to do is try to keep watching, keep going for it. Um, Tookie taught me that. He taught me just through that book, Bob. I call it the, the Crip Bob. Uh, uh, you can call it what you want to, but um, when I read it for the first time in prison, I read it. And that, and that Bible, that book, you know, I couldn't read. I'm not a reader. I told you I'm not good on reading. But when I got in there, Tookie, but it was just something I better learn. I better, I'm going to learn this book. I learned about Buddha. I learned about all. I read that book. Hell, I couldn't even read, but I'm gonna I'm gonna read this one. The first book I ever read to the end. Wow. Mm -hmm. The first book I ever read all the way to that, the that, end. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But but the but thing, I learned. The thing was, I learned what it meant. I learned what it meant. I got crip road all over me. My back, my head, my my behind my face. It's all over me. I said four. I can't get it off. Yeah. But the thing I learned was what it meant. When you get the meaning, the black rage part, when you get there, I wouldn't I wouldn't spend a minute talking about trying to convince you what I know about Crippin. I, I I cut for you, you good man. But 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 wasting 10 minutes worth talking about kind of you can't convince me or nobody else. You might convince somebody else. I believe what you said it the first time. Cause we're really gonna say it once, not twice. You hear me? But anyway, you're a good man. It's Took him wanted to end in a good way. He didn't get the message out. People didn't get the memo. They wouldn't let the youngsters get the memo. They wouldn't let the black men get the memo. They wouldn't let them pass it out to the youngsters. Now, they, Melvin, they killed him. Melvin being a friend of Tookie, right. and 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 being that you guys started, you know, off young together, or he was a little older than you, but you started off understanding and walking and dealing with him. Um, to be done seen. This guy who's affected way in Texas mm. and all, like I said, this didn't just start. It ain't just a Texas thing either. It's each state. It, it, you can go to Louisiana and find it. You can go to Mississippi <laughs> and find it. You can go to New Orleans and find it. Did you ever think that it would be that that uh, effective far as pretty much pulling people into that situation? You when mean, you guys started, the, when you, when this yeah, thing first started I think off, we went through this early, and I'm gonna get the same answer. Again. I want to hear it because I just I didn't heard all of these guys. No, we didn't think uh, nothing about this. We didn't. Uh, we hadn't even had sex with our socks off at that time, <laughs> let alone to be thinking about uh, something like this uh, going on. You know, it was three things going on. Uh, late 70s, late 60s, early 70s, Soul Train, Game Banging, and Pop Locking. Mm, let's go. Uh, and all those three things are staples uh, uh, day across America mm -hmm. from back then. But I, it's not nothing really to be proud of uh, about yeah. this life. Uh, and uh, talk. Uh, that's real talk, because at the end of the day, <laughs> uh, uh, you guilt by association, uh, you think you uh, the camaraderie when you're growing up, uh, going back and forth to jail, uh, when you don't think your ass will wear out before that first <laughs> wheel that hold you and silence your voice. But then as you get older, you see the look in your mother's eyes. Mm -hmm. You see your uh, family members uh, to where you don't see the wrinkles. Uh, and you think about all the time you could have been with your mother instead of running around niggas. Hmm. Uh, and you know hmm. you can't paint a, a picture with a canvas with one stroke. So I've been privileged and blessed to see five generations because every ten years shit changes in this go. game. So I know where Texas at in its thirty year, forty year history. I know where New Jersey. I can know about 
the, uh, from previous experience mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to that. So at the end of the day, man, uh, uh, I don't put no titles on nothing. Uh, as far as uh, people, I try to be an un unbiased urban analyst when I look at any situation and I always try to be fair. But I know this is a time now where we want to make these youths uh, uh, taxpayers as opposed to tax burdens. And uh, you know, this crip <laughs> and blood, we're not a gang, we're a brand now. Mm, and we yeah. have to start letting uh, 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 the entertainment world, uh, Nike that make the hats the color of whatever set you from, you hear me? when you're uh, uh, like the Texas Rangers hats. <laughs> That's Come one on. of the biggest hats yeah. selling in all America because <laughs> it represents the gangster crips. So you're talking about global. And so we have to look at how they exploiting us to where uh, we need to address them like when Jesse Jackson used to go back door for Coca-Cola and discrimination. And uh, 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 we need to have people such as us or people that are rooted uh, in this community that have a vested interest in the community where we speak up to help uh, eradicate uh, some of these adverse conditions that exist. And all that come with us with being unity in the community. If we can't get that, we segregating ourselves. We've had Martin Luther King die, get hmm. sprayed. We don't went from water holes to choke holes. Wow. But nothing's changed. But we can have to, us as a people, have to stand up and do every other race get along together. We don't, we try because we isolate ourselves to where it's the crab over the bucket, everybody trying to overstep <laughs> when it's no big use and no eyes and this shit. It ain't hard to do. Uh, thank hey. you. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.